Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I hope that you are doing amazing. Good evening, happy Friday. It is the weekend. I'm hearing this is how we do it. It's Friday night and I feel alright. The party's here on the left side. Chase. <laughs> A bit of Michael Jordan. This is how we do it. I remember I used to. Not anymore though. I haven't done that in a while. I used to play that song every single Friday, you know. <laughs> I used to. Right. We are going to be getting into your reading, Libra. Thank you for being here. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you here. We're going to be drawing for a fortune oracle card to begin the reading. I'm going to be reading from the book depending on what number we get, what card we get. Then we're going straight in with the tarot. Please be reminded that not every message in this reading will be for you. Leave what doesn't resonate for someone else. Let's take a look. Happy weekend, Libra. Thank you to you if you've shown me love, care and support this week. All your engagement, all your comments. Um, everybody who's reached out to me, everybody who's chosen me for a personal reading. Personal readings are open. I am accepting personal readings. Please email me at blackbutterflydiamondtarot at gmail.com and I will send you the details as to how to book for me. The turnaround time is like 48 hours, two days. I try to get the readings done, so let me know if you are interested in that. Let's see. Messages for the sign of Libra. What does Libra need to know? Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Libra needs to know at this time. Oh, that fell right out. We've got beware. Okay. Number three, be careful who you trust at this time. This is a warning. This is a warning. I don't know if that's a chameleon. I think that is a chameleon. Chame chameleons tend to camouflage themselves, I believe. Number 35, at the bottom of the deck, wish. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. I feel like you do have a blessing here, Libra. I do feel like you've got something that is you're going to be regarding as some sort of wish fulfillment coming towards you, but you need to be careful with who you share it with and who is around you at this time. This is a warning. Number three, we're going to read that energy. See what comes out for you okay this card okay beware this card is a warning card you could be in danger of taking too many risks so be very careful in your financial and personal life at this vulnerable time avoid excessive alcohol drugs and food intake at as these could lead to dependence or weight gain. Personal relationships. Affairs of the heart could be very stormy, so now is not a good time to start a new relationship. You are likely to be vulnerable, so may, so may not make the wisest choices. Take care not to become involved with someone who zaps your confidence in any way. It will only cause you heartache in the long term. Listen to your intuition and be on guard for those trying to con you, con you or those who do not have your best interests at heart. This card can also indicate temptation. So avoid adultery, no matter how tempting it may be. Don't mistake false flattery or lust for love, as it could end badly. Try and see people for who they are. Avoid putting someone on a pedestal and being disappointed when the reality does not match your dream. Jealous friendships could surface and a Judas or a smiling assassin could cause you grief. It is best to let go of these toxic friendships as soon as possible. Mm. There's a tip in here. This um, deck was created by Sharina Starr and each card has a tip and I feel really drawn to read the tip for you. Sharina's power tip, purchase a red wallet or wear red clothing such as a scarf, a tie or dress, even underwear to give you added strength, 
at this time. There's a big element of you needing to protect yourself and standing in your power, okay? Be careful of who's around you. Cut your grass, okay? There could be energies around you that do not mean you well. Be careful. Be careful and be careful, okay? Be careful of indulgence. Be careful of things that are going to be tempting you to come off task. If you have started some sort of new healthy living new eating regime, new way of living, new lifestyle, new healthy habits. Be careful of you not self-sabotaging at this time. There could be a lot of temptations. Be mindful of people not coming into, you know, on a false pretense, pretending that they, you know, they love you a long time. Meanwhile, they're just trying to love you for, for one night and cut. You know, those energies there. Temptation is the big key to look out for at this time. You could have a Judas in your mix, as the card says, somebody who is not to be trusted. We're going to grab you a different deck. Let's see. One sec, Libra. Sorry about that, Libra. Okay, let's take a look at what you need to know. Messages for Libra. The colour red could be very significant. Maybe you, you're wearing that colour. Maybe you need to start wearing that colour. Maybe you need to light a red candle as well. Messages for Libra. Tell me about Libra, please. We've got the Nine of Wands. And the seven of wands. The eight of pentacles. You could feel like you need to protect yourself from something coming up here. Maybe you're in a defensive energy. Maybe you sense that, you know, when you don't quite know what is happening, but you know something is. You know that saying, like, I feel it in my water. Or you feel your intuition is trying to tell you that something's not right. You could feel it and, and you're having a reaction to this. Your body can tell you you're, you're, you're reacting to this. You can always tell, you know, especially if you're an empath, you, you pick up on energy, you're tapped in. Um, you can always tell when you enter somewhere or when you're around an individual or when you're in a certain place or with a certain individual, um, how the energy is. How do you feel around that person? Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel uptight? Do you feel like, you know, you need to be crossing your arms and have your coat on? Do you feel like you can relax and let loose in that energy? You know, is the environment stuffy? How do you feel? Pick up on those energies. Does the hairs on the back of your neck stand up when you see this person? When you know that this person's approaching, do you get anxiety? Do you pace up and down? All of those things are telling signs of, you know, people that may not have the best intention for you, people who are in devil energy or don't mean you the best or don't have any business around you, especially environments, work environments, even places, people, whatever it is. There could be something that you're feeling about a certain individual and this reading will serve as confirmation that maybe there's something not quite right. With the seven of wands and the nine of wands, you feel very defensive. There's someone who you don't trust or something that is you you're not trusting here with the emperor could be an aries that you've got your back up um against here four of swords the ace of swords that is the truth yeah you're right you're right We've got the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, we've got the Queen of Swords. Yeah. We've got the Star in the reverse. We've got the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. And we've got the Strength card. There's a big energy here of you. Yeah, the Six of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Five of Wands in the reverse. If you are in some sort of um, 
line up to get a position or to be chosen for something, whatever that is for you. It could be a new home, it could be some sort of bidding, bidding system for a home. It could be something to do with you being in line, like a queue system or there's a waiting list. Um, there's some sort of beat out of the competition is what I'm getting and you're going to be succeeding and moving forward on something here, something you've been waiting on. If that makes sense to anybody, there's been some sort of queue. You've had to wait very long for this. You possibly had to put in some sort of work to get this um, um, opportunity, but you're going to be chosen. You're coming to the, the, the front of the queue, whatever that means for you. This could be anything. Could even be a new job, a promotion. Um, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign here. Libra. Some of you could be dealing with another, another Libra, a Gemini. Aquarius, some of you could be dealing with definitely Aquarius strong, a Leo is strong as well. There's something that you need to hold back on, you know, your trust your intuition, trust, you know, the prickly feeling at the back of your neck. If something is off, then it's off. There's something that your ancestors, your spirit guides are trying to warn you about with the Ace of Swords. It would be right. There's something about your intuition being very sharp at this time. You're, you're being called to use your logic, okay? Take your feelings off the table and move with logic, okay? Your brain is something that you are on the money with. This is very accurate. Your intuition could be very, very on point, on fire at this time, especially to do with somebody specific in your energy. For some of you, you are needing to set a big boundary with an individual here. For some of you, you have retracted some sort of offer, for some of you, somebody has retracted an offer towards you where it was kind of like um, it was an offer that just didn't really have much meat and potatoes to it. OK, there may not have been much that um, would have been given in this anyway. There's something about holding back. There's something about there's a real guarded energy here. We've got the strength card, we've got the four of pentacles. A lot of you could be in an energy of holding back or this is a, the advice to do so. With the star in the reverse and the seven of pentacles in the reverse, there's something that you're not arriving to. You're not coming to, you're not putting your energy into, you deem it as um, a waste of resources, a waste of time, and that would be correct. I don't know what specifically this is or what Libra I'm picking up on here, but there's something that has your back up. There's something that is not making you feel good. Your body's reacting in a situation. Some of you could have anxiety around whoever this is or whatever this is. And there's an energy of you being on the money. You're, you're on the money. Whatever it is you're thinking, feeling, and you can't quite put your finger on, this is the indication that you are right. This is something that you are um, kind of pulling out of. A lot of you are pulling out of an investment of some kind. But we're going to delve a little bit deeper. Or well, this is someone else. This could be a connection. This could be a job. Um there's something that your mind's telling you, your intuition's telling you that it's not going to be beneficial. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. The Strength card. When I tell you, listen to your intuition. We're going to get you another spread because this is pretty self-explanatory. I don't really need to clarify it here. We've got the strength card, the strength card. There's something you need to hold back on or you need to continue to hold back on this. High Priestess, your intuition is screaming. A lot of you, your intuition is so on point. It is on point. Sharp. Sharp. Like a blade. Your intuition is screaming at you. Some of you have got strong Pisces in your chart, Libra. But your intuition is telling you, yeah, some of you could even read cards. Some of your ancestors with the Ten of Pentacles are sending you messages. They're reinforcing your intuition. Some of you, you are gifted because a, of a mother figure, a grandmother, a, mo a mother, you know, an auntie. You've had some sort of gift that's been passed down to you. You are seeing a situation exactly how it is, okay? This could even be a family situation. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. The Knight of Wands. The moon. For some of you, it was a person who has a lot of secrets and skeletons in their closet and you've walked away and that was the right decision to do. Especially if this is regarding a relationship, you moved the right 
way you did exactly what you need to do could be a fire sign and aries leo sagittarius we've got pisces cancer energy here you withdrew an investment or someone retracted an investment and that was the right thing to do sorry about that libra I was interrupted yeah some of you have made um a decision on a specific person tell me about the ace of swords Oh, yeah, the Ace of Wands. You acted, you took action using your logic. Okay, for some of you, you've got a new beginning coming in here because of how intelligent you are, how switched on you are, that, you know, somebody could have been playing you. Somebody could have been playing you. Well, this is a warning that somebody is, their intentions are not good. This person could maybe be um, the sun. Yeah, that's exposure. This could be a Leo. This could be a warning telling you somebody's intention is possibly only to distract you from your course, possibly tempt you with the Ace of Wands being there. That could be somebody tempting you with lust. We had it in the card in the beginning. Okay, listen to your intuition is the strong message. We're going to draw for another spread because this is very clear and I'm just going to be repeating myself. Let's see if we can get you... Some different energy some of you you could have dealt with an earth sign we've got air sign energy aquarius i think i read out the sign i think i said the signs fire sign as well strong leo okay let's see let's pull you a different spread what else does libra need to be aware of messages for libra Page of Swords, Air Sign Energy, the Seven of Cups, the Emperor in the Reverse, the Ten of Swords, everything is fine, the Eight of Wands, the Four of Swords. Some of you could definitely have an Aries in your energy. This person could be very mean. Somebody who's extremely controlling. This could be somebody who paints a lot of illusions and controls people through them. This could be a father figure. Somebody who you have children with. This person could be your father. Take it as it resonates. This could just be somebody with children. Um, this is a person who watches you very closely. They're watching you. They could be watching you collaborate in another situation here as well. The Six of Pentacles. This could be somebody who uses money as a weapon, like, okay, because you don't do that for me, then I'm going to withhold this, or it controls how I give to you, because you're deciding to not comply with the Emperor in the Reverse. This definitely could be somebody very, very controlling, uses things to control people, especially if they're in a position of power. This person could definitely abuse that position of power. I'm in control because you don't move how I want you to move, because, you know, I have more finances or more way to do things than you, then I am going to put you to sit down because I'm in control and I can take away this and that and whatever. They definitely like to pull strings. Um, this could be somebody who you was even married to with the Seven of Cups. This person likes to create an illusion. This person is, um, they wear a mask. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. You could have got away from this person, but they watch you. The hanged man. They don't know how to feel. They don't know how to feel about what they're seeing, especially if you've got yourself out of um, a situation of being left out in the cold. Some of you could have got out of some sort of poverty state. Some of you could have been working on your finances with the three of pentacles. Some of you could have even have started a new business after an injustice some of you could have turned pain into power especially if this person was unfair to you oh yeah with the queen of pentacles and the justice in the reverse some of you are doing better after an injustice okay you possibly use that in injustice as a step okay you don't need to see the full staircase you only needed to see the full step the first step and the first step was injustice and you've kind of worked your way up to a level of success stability some of you you're looking better a lot of you your hair's growing okay look at sis sis has got that big afro going on her hair is is looking nice looking juicy there looking um healthy i don't know why i called hair juicy i've never done that in my life before but you know what moisturize you look healthy you know 
got the natural oils going on that type of energy three of pentacles the five of swords be careful of somebody not trying to come there's a sabotaging energy you definitely have somebody in your energy who is jealous of whatever it is that you've got going on especially if it doesn't involve them especially if you've made another way for yourself that does not include somebody who was trying to pull strings you need me you need me because of this definitely could have been a person who threw their weight around you know those people like you know take your job serious okay Ch take your job serious with the ace of cups yeah some of you have got new love some of you are exuding a lot of self-love okay you could be definitely sitting in an energy of self-love and that's the energy of you carving out a new way for yourself and dropping something okay something that wasn't feeding you with the page of pentacles something that wasn't beneficial you know do your job this is what i was gonna say do your job but do you ever go to a place of work like you see it a lot in shops in things in wherever you could work with people like this you know there's always people who just take it too far their authority the ability to pull their way especially when it gets to their head it's like take your job serious but oh my gosh do you have to be like such a, a hard bum you know, you could be dealing with an energy like that. Something where the power has definitely got to their head. They throw their weight around where they don't even have to. Who left the coffee machine on? Okay. <laughs> you know, who... I'm just thinking of the most, like, insignificant things. Who um, put the paper towels on that shelf at the top when they're supposed to go on the shelf that's just below it? Meanwhile, the shelf on the top doesn't have anything on it, but there's a reason why this person wants it to go on the shelf. Do you, have you ever met any of those people in your workplace? You know, people who just like to throw their weight around. This person could be going through marital, marital issues or this could have been somebody with you had a lot of marital issues with due to that. This person could be very OCD for me to say that. And I'm not knocking anybody with OCD. I feel like everybody has a type of OCD, if I'm honest, varying degrees, okay? Most of us, okay? Most of us. Um, I know I love, like, organisation. Um, my sister is like that a lot. Like, you're kind of ordering the colours and the shades and, you know, the big um, seasoning containers, containers at the back to the middle size in the middle to the tiny one so you can see everything i get it i get it and it's satisfying i do get it i'm slightly ocd myself um but you could be dealing with somebody like that you know you could be dealing with somebody like very very controlling and you know six of pentacles this person could have definitely tried to um play god like you know you won't have this if i don't give it to you and there's something about you going ahead and getting it on your own and this person doesn't really like this how would libra know who this is they're very jealous of whatever this is that you're working on first of all what is that three of pentacles because i see a new project here for you libra the judgment this is oh yeah the king of pentacles in the reverse the magician card in the reverse the queen of pentacles wow wow two of pentacles somebody feels like you have gone ahead and you've you've outdone them <laughs> somebody feels like you've outdone them this could be a person who's even who even fake flexes like maybe they don't even have the power that they claim to have look who came out the judgment card the king of pentacles in the reverse and the magician in the reverse and the only person who came out in the upright is the queen of pentacles and you came out like this earlier this is someone who feels like you have knocked them the attention is no longer on them and their manipulation for some of you their mask has fallen off they could have fallen from grace somehow their status has taken a hit their manipulative ways are no longer working and they're under judgment for this while you have worked yourself up to a state of being very stable on your own and you've done this in a genuine way so for some of you this person has played dirty to get to a position of power and now they're losing it all okay sometimes the quicker you climb um 
<laughs> sometimes the higher that you get, the bigger the fall. And you could have been one who has really tried to work yourself from the ground up with the five of pentacles in the reverse. Someone feels like you've knocked them off their pedestal. Someone th feels like you're doing better than them. And that's what they don't like. This could be a person who has looked at you, climbed to the top. Put in the work with the Three of Pentacles. People like your work. People are admiring you. They're definitely watching you with the Page of Swords. They see you in a new light. And it could be an energy of, wow, I play so dirty and I've got to this position. And it seems like people genuinely like Libra. Libra's doing very well. And they're doing it in a way that's genuine. And I don't like it because I'm not that way. For some of you, they're watching you in a partnership, temperance, very protected. And this person is out of whack emotionally. This definitely could have been somebody who used emotion to manipulate. This could have been a person who definitely gaslit you. You will never be anything without me. Do you think that you could do any better than me? Absolutely the hell. Yes, temperance energy and the two of cups. I think what I can. That's what Libra said, and they don't like it. How will Libra know who this is? They're a manipulator. This person could have anger issues, a tyrant, somebody who's, you know, the devil and the three of cups. This is somebody who didn't take your connection serious. This could have been a person who you had a relationship, a connection with them, and there was friends involved, there was family involved. This could have been a relationship that was, like, broadcasted. Everybody knows your business. This person is very toxic. This could be a karmic. This could be somebody with a lot of karmic friends. There could have been a lot of toxic um, chatter going on, a lot of rumours. People could have been obsessed with breaking this relationship down. There could have been a lot of he say, she say, okay? Yeah, the six of wands, that talks about exposure. This person possibly thrives in this. For some of you, they even started these rumours. This could be a person who definitely thrives off of negative energy. This person is very obsessive and very controlling. They could also enjoy controlling the narrative of the people around them. As long as they are being celebrated, as long as they look favourable, they're good with that, regardless of how toxic it is. This definitely could be a Capricorn, the Two of Swords. This could be a thing that you didn't see in the past, but it was right in front of your face. Why does Libra need to know this? Queen of Wands, everything is fine, and the Four of Swords. Because you've healed from this, you've got your spark back. A lot of you are looking really good. Again, there's a very aesthetic energy about you. You could have had a physical glow up with the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of you are going towards some sort of long-standing generational wealth here a lot of you could be doing something in the beauty industry that's going to be bringing you a lot of money and wealth as well you've overcome something with the everything is fine this was something that was supposed to do you in this person possibly felt like they did you in whoever this is with the four of swords you've restored yourself and you've come back better and this person feels like you've knocked them off some sort of pedestal. I feel like low-key, this person was competing with you. And you went ahead, Libra, and won without even playing anything. All you did was work on yourself. One for the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. There could have been somebody here that was saying that you will never be any more than what you are. Or even planting seeds of doubt. This could have been a person who went around to other people. Kind of talking a lot about where you were in life. Especially if you were kind of progressive at that time. Or you were still working on yourself. You was a work in progress. Um, this was somebody who could have spoken quite um, negative on your life to other people. This definitely could be somebody who kind of assumed a level of false status within a group of people and it was like well Libra's doing this and Libra's not doing this this person nitpicks on other people meanwhile their own business is not straight behind the scenes but they like to be seen this definitely could be an Aries um meanwhile their own business is not straight so it's like they're talking on someone else meanwhile their situation is a lot to be desired and somebody's falling from grace and they feel like that you've done this in a more pure way than what they have done this. And it's like it's shedding light on them, who they are, five of cups. 
be careful what you say about other people. Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. This person could have even have stolen from you. Eight of Cups. Do you know what I got? This person could have been taking, siphoning money, controlling finances. Especially if you were married to this person, you could have been a stay-at-home mom or somebody who... You know, it could have been a dynamic where this person was in charge of the finances, the home, the um, the income. This person could have been the breadwinner at one point, you know, at a time. And this person kind of done it in a way where you couldn't walk away from a situation to do, to kind of elevate. And you've kind of like cut the ties and you've done it anyway. And this person's really, really surprised that you've done this with the Knight of Cups. People like you and they don't like how people like you. Last card for Libra. Wow, the Hermit. A lot of you have awakened spiritually. The Strength card. Yeah, that's that's an upgrade. The Moon. Yeah. The Lovers in the Reverse. There was a lot that was hidden in a connection. Okay, this could have been some sort of false false soulmate, false twin flame union. Um, and yeah, oh yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles, it's destined, you know, generational wealth is coming in, a lot of you are um, strengthening through your wisdom, okay, a lot of you have earned another badge of life, okay, on your chest, and it's due to this situation of there being a lot of illusions around you, around the connection, you couldn't trust someone, or you can't, and you're definitely going to be seeing that, and it's going to help you go within and meet yourself kind of on a deeper level i don't know who this narcissistic person that you could have been dealing with very controlling somebody who was talking about you somebody who kind of wanted to it to be that they were the one that was in control they were the head honcho they were the one that was doing better than you meanwhile all you were trying to do is survive and live and feed yourself sometimes it goes that way some people create competition where you, all you're trying to do is to better yourself and lo and behold what have you been able to attain you look good, your money's good, you're healthy. What more do you want? That's all you need. Libra, I love you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.